Hey everyone, so today I'm going to be filming a video where I talk about how you can look cute with minimal effort, not a lot of money and stuff like that. Just like styling tips and techniques that will make you look that extra bit fashionable I guess and rich. Before we get started, I just want to have a little disclaimer as I always say, I don't look good right now, I'm so sorry. Um, I don't know why I always apologise but right now it's like 1am, um, so it's the only time I can get to film this video. So. Yeah, um, I'm aware I don't look the best, so yeah, let's just get past that. If you're new here, please do subscribe to my channel and make videos whenever I can. If you enjoy what you see, then please do press the subscribe button down below and give me a thumbs up if you end up enjoying this video. Also, if you want to follow my social medias, they're all at Mr. Hanazari, which is on the screen right now, so you guys can check that out. A lot of the things I'm asking you to buy and everything, they're generally quite cheap compared to actually buying proper designer stuff or you know high street items obviously not everyone can afford this stuff as well but I mean it's just a cheaper alternative to stuff that you might want to buy and yeah let's just let's just get into it so the first tip is to buy luxurious looking patterns so I'm gonna put pictures for each set of what I'm talking about on the screen so you guys can get an idea of what I'm picturing so buy patterns luxurious patterns and materials I mean stuff like silk and just stuff that looks wealthy I don't know how to explain it but you know what I mean like designer scarves and stuff. It doesn't have to be real designer, but if, if you know scarves that are designer, they're like quite luxurious feeling like they feel good quality, stuff like that. So good quality materials. Stuff with some texture and just something to add a bit of, you know, something different to your outfit. I think this really makes a difference because it adds an extra sort of element to your outfits that wouldn't be there otherwise. The material just makes you look really rich. I know it's weird, but I mean, for example, if you have silk shirts, they look really, really pretty um, as opposed to normal shirts. It doesn't have to be real silk or anything. It could literally be a material that mimics that. Just keep that in mind. You don't always have to buy, like, for example, cotton shirts. Um, buy a different material. It makes your style a bit more exciting and different. So my number two is jewellery. And obviously everyone has their own sort of, you know, taste in jewellery and stuff. For me, I prefer sort of simple pieces. You might prefer other things like bigger necklaces and a bit more um, showy. So I really like gold or silver and sometimes rose gold, it depends. I really like paying attention to details in items. So right now, you can't really see it, but I have this necklace. It's basically rose gold. It's from Guess, but I mean, you don't have to. You can literally get it from anywhere. So it's rose gold and it has like a heart that is silver. Like silver little diamond looking things it's really nice so I really really like this um, I prefer it because it just looks simple and you know it draws um, the eye a little bit because in my opinion smaller things like this look a lot more expensive as opposed to wearing like a big pearl necklace or something it makes you look a lot more put together especially if they're matching right now I don't really <laughs> have anything matching I just like this so my earrings are just gold um, these are just normal hoop earrings and right now I have these bracelets on one of them is just like this gold little thing it has gold on it but it's blue and it's like a drawstring type thing but I really like these and obviously you can wear rings and stuff as well just don't overdo it in my opinion I like it simple but of course you may like it some other style all right so my third tip is to wear neon sort of bright stand up pieces so I didn't do this on purpose but right now I'm wearing an orange top it just looks like this it has the words phoenix on it um, but I really like it because of course don't wear everything like bright colored so don't wear like green jeans and an orange top like that would not look good obviously but I mean if everything else you're wearing is neutral have a stand up piece that just you know draws the eye and just makes you look a bit different it gives you a really nice style so for example black jeans and this orange shirt would look really good in my opinion and like a black denim jacket that's what I would wear anyway if not clothing then you can have a really nice bag or something so like you could wear all black and then have a blue handbag or something I really like the kind of idea of having like a pop like a like a like a pop of color <laughs> I don't know how to say it but yeah I really like the idea of that it just kind of makes everything look more seamless it just really helps you to not blend into the crowd because i'm kind of guilty of always wearing all black or always wearing neutral 
clothes. I've also seen where people have bright colored trainers. So like red like trainers or whatever and it just looks really good in my opinion. But of course, your opinions may vary. It's just not. The trend that I've been seeing is a neon green top. And I don't know why, um, I kind of like the idea, but I probably would not pull it off at all. Like, a neon top with black jeans would look really good, for example. A bright coloured blazer and stuff like that, it just really adds something different. And to go with the idea of accessories, such as jewellery and stuff, I wanted to talk about glasses. So of course you can wear sunglasses, they're really good for in the summer, but I really like to wear clear glasses sometimes, because I like the way it looks and stuff. And this video is kindly sponsored by Contour Eyewear and I'm so excited to show you guys this because I really believe in it and I really really love using it. So here's an example, I have two of these glasses and one is black and the other one is clear and they're really really nice and let me tell you why real quick. For ages I was waking up feeling tired still even though I slept like a long time in the night. And I realized I've been using my phone every single night before I go to bed and it's not healthy for me but it's hard because of course in this world we live on social media and of course I cannot not message people and be on social media, it's difficult. Blue light and message from phones and laptops and just screens in general, they interfere with your sleep cycle which you know is really bad for your sleep and overall eye health. So missing out on sleep due to blue light will affect your concentration and stuff like that, it's really hard especially with me because I try to get enough sleep every night, yeah, I still wake up tired and I have to go to school and all that stuff, so it's just really difficult. And ever since I got these glasses, I'm telling you guys, it really works, it's made me so much more a lot during the day. It's just really helped me go to sleep more easily and I've been going to sleep really early <laughs> these days because I've been wearing the glasses before I go to sleep. Like a couple hours, an hour before I go to sleep, you don't have to wear it the whole day if you don't want to. It really works because blue light stops the production of melatonin and melatonin is the hormone that your body produces to make you go to sleep. I remember learning about it in school. So if you suffer from sore eyes and headaches, because my eyes for example, like sometimes I'm like blinking and it really hurts and I realise it's because of the phones then this is really good for you. And truthfully I wouldn't recommend something to you guys if I didn't believe in it. Because Contour Eyewear kindly sent me the glasses and didn't sponsor me until recently. But I just tried them out and I actually really liked it. I didn't have to make a video. So yeah guys that's pretty much the stuff about the glasses. Of course if you like that idea of it then do go ahead and check the website out. I'm just going to link it down below and you can get 20% off my code SAHA20, it's all capital letters. I believe the glasses are on sale at the moment so if you want just go check them out and they have so much more information on the website if you do want to know. So as you can see I really like the way it looks and of course I have a ring light right now so I look like that. So they have it in black, they have it also in clear like this. And they also have it in pink, so it looks like the clear one, but it's a little more of a pink tone, obviously. Okay, let's move on to tip number four. I've never heard anyone really speak about this, but I thought about it a lot. So, it's a way to kind of discover what suits you. Because a lot of the times, I really like items, for example, culottes. I really like the way they look. But on me, they do not look good. Stuff like that. Like, you need to find out what suits your body type, what suits you. Um, just your appearance and what you like obviously. But I would say you can go into stores that fit your aesthetic. So for me, I really really love Urban Outfitters. But for me it's so overpriced that I have not, I've never bought a piece of clothing in there. But I really love everything. So the thing is, a lot of places they do dupes. So for example in Primark they do like very similar things to Urban Outfitters. Um, because Primark copies a lot of trends to Urban Outfitters and pick out a bunch of items that, you know, I like the look of and I like the aesthetic of and go to the changing room and just try them all on, take pictures, stuff like that. And then at least you can figure out, oh, I really like this, I don't like that, stuff like that. Because if the store fits your aesthetic, then you can figure it out, um, figure out what you like. And if not from the actual store, then when you try it on and you go shopping somewhere else, then you'll be like, oh yeah, I really like the way that style looked to me. I can try this style of clothing, if that makes sense. I hope it did. So now you're more prepared because you know what suits your body shape. Number five, another really huge trend is animal print. Oh my god, every single store, I went shopping a few days ago and every single store had animal print stuff. Animal print shirts, blouses, trousers, skirts, literally everything. Coats, shoes, so much. 
even bags, all like, it's, it's crazy. And I don't know how, like, all of a sudden. So, of course, make sure they're cruelty free for animal print, but I just really like the way they look. So, another thing, keep your hair groomed and tidy. Make sure you look um, put together and sophisticated. Personally, I like sleek hair, usually straight or curly, and always leave it down. Today, I actually tied it up for once. If you look at my other videos, they're always down. That's the way I like it, but of course, find out what you like and what suits your style. And you can play with the parting you have, like middle parting, side parting and stuff, because that really makes a difference. I'm just super comfortable with this right now. Step number seven, look at celebrities' Instagrams and try to copy their styles. And of course, put your own twist on it, but you can find dupes and stuff. So one of the trends I've noticed is scrunchies, especially pattern ones, like animal print ones, and stuff like that. You can, you know, accessories and whatever. Um, are really nice, you know, just put your own spin on the stuff and of course it looks like a little thing but it's a scrunchie and you put it on and it just really adds an extra sort of element I don't know how to explain it it just makes it just makes your outfit and your whole appearance go to the next level basically so number nine, find out what your aim is if it's to be sophisticated um, you know, wear neutral pieces, um, wear blazers, wear blouses, patterns, scarves and silk. Find a look you like. Personally, I love the idea of vans, anything red, um, checkered, you know, black and white, stuff like that. Flames, I love that stuff. So just find out what you like. Number 10, to save money, buy items that you'll actually use. So don't just buy a camouflage top if you're not going to wear that with a lot of things. If you're only going to wear bright yellow heels for one of your outfits, just evaluate whether it's a good choice compared to nude color or um, pink heels, for example. I just think they're a bit more appropriate. So use items that will actually be multi-purpose and buy them in higher quality if you can because then it will last longer because it's better to buy more higher quality than buying low quality and having to keep on repurchasing because it gets old or whatever. Something like a staple item, for example, I always like to have a black handbag um, if you buy a more expensive one, it saves you money in the long run because you can, you know, use that for a longer period of time. And jewellery that doesn't fade, for example, I just bought some jewellery from Shein, literally the day I was wearing it, it all went dark and I was just like, well, it's cheap, but I mean, in a way it's better to get things, splurge on certain things that you know you'll use and that's okay. Um, for example, gold plated and silver plated jewellery. I love that because it doesn't go, it doesn't, you know, stain or anything. You can wear it all the time and shower with that one as well. Shoes that you can always wear, like vans and superstars, stuff like that. I always wear with everything and it matches. So in the long run, this saves money even though it looks like you're paying a lot. And final tip, just an extra one. It doesn't matter if it's expensive, it's just the way that you style and present it. For example, a normal plain white and or black t-shirt, you can change it and style it up and add extra things like accessories to make it look better. Okay guys, hope you enjoyed this video. I really hope I inspired you to change your style up a bit and everything. Thanks for coming to our eyewear for sponsoring this video. And let me know down below what tip was your favorite, what will you implement now in your styling routine. And yeah guys, so thanks for watching so much and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Oh, 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 oh,